Welcome to another unit of the ISM exercise set Business Mathematics, this time with a unit on linear systems of equations. Let's take a look at the exercise. Here we have solved the following linear system of equations with regards to the parameter k. And we have here the system as we see the parameter k is on the right side, in the vector on the right side, so it does not impact whether the system of equations is solvable or not. So we can just start by copying or reducing our linear systems of equations, meaning we put the main matrix on the left, do a large vertical line, and then put the vector from the right side beside it. And then we're just using the three different approaches or parts of the Gauss algorithm to reformulate the left hand side so that it looks like a unit matrix. Meaning, first we start by making it like an upper right triangular matrix by getting rid of whatever is below the diagonal. Then we try to make all the elements of the diagonal one and in the third step we try to make it a diagonal matrix, so meaning getting rid of all the elements above the diagonal. So here what we can do first is get rid of the values below the diagonal in the first column. So we calculate here second row minus two times the first and third row minus three times the first. This gets rid of the first two entries. Then we only have to get rid of the minus two in the third row. So what we can do here is first off third minus two times the second and also to do one more step we multiply the second row with minus one. Taken all together this leads to the following result and that's pretty nice because first off we have an upper triangular matrix, upper right triangular matrix and all the elements on the diagonal are one. So we already accomplished the first two steps. Now we only need to get rid of the first uh, of the elements above the diagonal. So here, very easy version to go with is first subtract the second row from the first, because this takes care of everything in the first row. And then we only have to take care about the last one in the second row and this we can clear up by subtracting the third row from the second. Then after this step we see that our left hand side matrix has become the unit matrix meaning whatever is on the right hand side of the vertical line is the solution to this linear system of equations. So here we have x being 0 y being 2 minus k and z being k minus 1. And this then solves the linear system of equations we were given, and thereby concludes this exercise. I hope you enjoyed listening to it and, well, took at least something away from it. And if you want to see more of these types of exercises, feel free to visit the rest of the exercise set and take a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.